American woman has become the first person to swim the channel four times non-stop. It took 37-year-old Sarah Thomas more than 54 hours. The open water ultra marathon swimmer completed treatment for breast cancer a year ago. And she's dedicated her swim to all the survivors out there. And I can't believe she actually joins us now. Uh, from Sandgate in the UK, Sarah, hi. I'm really in awe right now because this is just, it's a superhuman feat. And first I wanna make sure I actually understand what you did here. You swam the channel four times. That's 135 kilometers in one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world, and it's mm -hmm. freezing without stopping. Yes, that is what I did. <laughs> now, how, when did you sleep? Or, I mean, how, how does your body actually do this? You know, that is a good question. Um, we definitely didn't sleep at all during the 54 hours that we were swimming. Um, there's just a lot of training that goes into it. So over the years, I've trained my body to withstand the cold water and... Um, yeah, it's just a lot. It's the culmination of a lot of years of training really hard. Okay. I mean, and you, you said you wanted to sleep. <laughs> that was the first thing you said yeah. when you finished. So I'm <laughs> imagine you've actually yeah. just only just woken up uh, to be yeah. uh, just attacked by the media because uh, n yeah. it's really hard <laughs> to believe this was done. And I'm trying to reconcile how anyone can have the physiology to do this and you're a cancer survivor. Where does that physical strength really come from? How much of it is mental? Oh, I would say 90% of it is mental. Um, you have to believe in yourself that you can do it first and just really train your mind to push through all those barriers when it says stop um, to keep going even when you want to quit. Was there, I mean, you must have had those moments where your body just said, that's enough, stop. Mm. For sure. Um, when we hit the turnaround point, um, so we'd swum from England to France and we were back in England. Um, it was the middle of the night. Um, I had been sick and I just, I told my, my team, I said, I don't have what it takes to finish this. Um, and they were incredibly supportive and said, you know what, you just keep pushing, keep driving and we'll get you through. Um, I was really quit. I was just looking to for them to tell me to get back on the boat so that I could be warm and dry and take a nap, um, but they wouldn't let me do it. So I'm grateful that they pushed me through. So your support team is so important. How are you mm -hmm. feeling though now? I mean, something I didn't mention, that this is also not the cleanest water in the world. Not only is it cold, uh, some mm -hmm. people have tried to swim the English Channel and caught, you know, been very sick after they've done this. How are you mm -hmm. feeling? Um, I feel fine um, as far as that goes. Um, my mouth is really sore in my throat from just the salt water exposure, but otherwise I am good. Amazing. Sarah, I mean, I don't know how you can top this, but uh, what's, what's your next adventure? What are you hoping, what challenge are you looking to tackle? <laughs> oh, um, you know, I honestly don't have anything planned just yet. Um, it's been, a, you know, a long couple of years with a lot of training and my breast cancer treatment. So my husband has very nicely asked me to take a slight break for a minute. So. I'm sure I'll come up with something crazy to do in the future, but nothing planned just yet. Sarah Thomas, what a pleasure to have you on the show. Congratulations. Really an, an impressive, amazing superhuman feat. Thanks so much uh, for sharing it with us. Thanks.